question is, what, why do I think that the right theory will be a simple one? Um, Einstein had once said that this, this right theory will be the simplest one possible. Well, for two reasons. One is because that's been the historical progress. Uh, when, remember going back to uh, the 1950s when I was studying elementary particle physics, mostly in the context of cosmic rays, there were dozens of particles and they all had random properties and we couldn't make any sense of them. And if you wanted to write um, a set of principles that describe these particles, they would take up a telephone book because uh, we didn't have anything coherent to say about them. Now we have the standard model. Simplicity doesn't mean that it's transparent to someone who doesn't know mathematics. It, it does require mathematics to state the principles, but the principles are actually fairly simple. In fact, they're not that different from just the principles of electromagnetism. If you can increase the number of types of electromagnetic fields and you increase the number of types of charged particles, um, types of charge, I should say, that there are, you get to a theory very much like the standard model. It's, the standard model is just electromagnetism writ large. And um, you, uh, so it's gotten simpler. Things have gotten simpler. The other reason is more practical. If, if, if the theory is not simple, the hell with it. Uh, I mean, we really are in the business of finding a simple theory. And if there isn't one, well, then maybe we're wasting our time, but then we're really not interested. Uh, it's, it's only simplicity that's interesting, it seems to me. I mean, you know, who really cares about these particles? I don't really care about electrons or quarks. I, I, I care about what the princ principles are. And if there are principles, are a different principle for every particle, uh, then the hell with it. I'll do something useful. <laughs>